everyone welcome back to the next lecture of the C program playlist in this lecture we are going to see the static storage class in the last lecture we have started with the storage classes in the C in, and in the last lecture we have covered some basic related to storage classes and also we have completed one storage class which is the ATO so if you didn't watch this video then go back and watch this video and come to this uh, current video because in the last lecture we have uh, discussed about some basics related to storage classes so if you didn't watch this video then you will not get um, uh, things related to storage classes in this video properly so please go back watch that video uh, first part of the storage class and then come to this video and watch this video because in this video we are going to see the next storage class which is the static storage class and it is completely depend upon the previous video so please watch that previous video and come back to this video so in this video we are going to see the static storage class and in the upcoming videos we are going to see the extend storage class and the register storage class so without wasting much more time let's get start Let's start with the static uh, storage class so in the last lecture we have seen the auto storage class so in this lecture we will see static storage class so let's start with the first program so we have one program like h include stdio.h we have a main function and in that <coughs> we have written some of the lines of code and also we also have uh, another function so let's take uh, one scenario to create this program let's see uh, everyone uses Instagram nowadays. So in the Instagram when we uh, upload any photo then we get a like for that photo So number of people's like that uh, photo then the like will get incremented by one by one So we will write the program for that. So in the let's see in the Instagram They have one function in that function. They have written the logic whenever the any user will double tap on the that a particular post or click on that uh, like button the function gets uh, Called and after calling this function the like uh, value will get incremented by one so we will write the function like that so we have let's see we have a function like int uh, in, let's like write increase inc like we have a function like that and in that we have one variable int like okay and we will initialize it to zero so in the variable chapter or in this chapter we will see the what is uh, initialization declaration definition of variables so but for now in this chapter let's see we have a one variable in the int like inc inc like a function increment like a function and in that we have a one variable like like equal to and we have initialized it to zero and simply what we are doing here we are incrementing this like variable by one okay and then we are printing this variable here okay so whenever this function will get called this will increase the like value by one and print it so instead of taking int we have we don't have any of this int return type we will take here as a void okay so let's see from main function if i have uploaded any photo and then some people or some user uh, like to that uh, post so what happens the like function will get called so let's see like this function is gets called from this main function so when the function gets called this function will comes into the stack this we have this int like variable and its value is zero initially what happens when we when this int like function gets called firstly what happens this like variable will gets value will gets one so its value will become one initially okay and after that it will print the output as a one here i will write the output it will print the output one okay after that the function stack will gets removed from the stack memory then uh, another user will come and this user will again call this function okay like and uh, after calling this function again this function stack will comes into the memory but uh, at this time what will happens this like variable will not get persist the value of this like variable will get overwrite right? because when in the last lecture i have told you that the variables which are at a local scope these variables will remains available in the memory till the function is available in function execution is going once once the function execution will get end the variables also gets removed from the stack as well the lifespan of these variables will remain till the function stack is in the execution phase okay so for this variable also happens like that so this once the function execution will get stopped this uh, like variable will also get removed so what happening here when we call this function first time this function will uh, come uh, what's coming into the memory this like variable will get what gets created into the memory when this variable gets created then this value of this variable it gets incremented by one and this variable is gets printed and we got a one as a value and after getting out of this uh, getting removed from the stack uh, 
this function uh, when we call this function again again new stack will get created for that function after creating this stack this like variable also gets created newly because this like variable was gets vanished when when the last function stack will was gets removed from the memory okay so when we called it again this variable again gets initialized and this variable got memory into the uh, on to the ram in the stack and this variable again gets initialized to zero when we increment for the next call when we increment this like to it will gets incremented by one and again we got output as a one but what should happens here we should have to get two after one we got two then we should get three we should get four five likewise this should be get incremented by one by one if we calling this function again and again so to get uh, like that or to make this variable persistent so to make remaining this values of the variable as it is up after the execution gets ended after the ending of the execution as well so there is one option so here we have option like a static so we have one keyword ms static if you use the static keyword before the uh, creation of variable or before the de defining of the variable what it will does it will store this variable into the data section so what is data section data section is basically the section onto the stack where the global variables will get stored so it, this uh, like variable will get memory at the data section and the variables which are which are available in the data section these variables are remains available until the end of the execution of the program so when the program execution gets end this uh, like variable will gets removed from the data section until it will not get removed even if your function stack gets removed then also this variable not gets removed when your program execution gets ends at that time this uh, all the variables available on the data section will gets removed so this is the benefit of data section so what this static keyword does this static keywords uh, will uh, give the memory to this variable into the data section not on the on the bss section if uh, earlier when we was not writing the static keyword at that time this variable was getting the memory on the bss section but after writing this static keyword this variable will get memory onto the data section and data section will remain available until the end of the program not until the end of the function stack so this will uh, this variables uh, data will remains uh, persist so what happens after writing the static when we call this function firstly it will initialize this like variable to zero and due to the static this like variable will get memory onto the data section so after getting the memory onto the data section so this variable will get incremented by one we will initially get one and after that after ending of this function the stack will get removed and when next time we will call this function the c here after ending of the function stack the date the like variable will remain available onto the data section this like variable will not gets removed and its lifespan also not gets end but see one thing its scope remains local its lifespan will increase to global but lifespan of local static variable will global so this like variable will remains until the end of the program so that's why its lifespan will becomes global but it is only accessible inside this uh, curly brace this function only so that's why its scope remains local okay so whenever we call the function next time it will come here it will see there is a static keyword static uh, we have written static keyword so it will goes to data section check that if there is any like variable present then it will take the value which whatever value which is present at this location it will take here so it will initialize this variable next time with the values available previously and it will add increment it by one so previously its value was one now after incrementing it its value will become two and it will get print with due to the print statement so now it will becomes two likewise it will get incremented by three four likewise and it will get incremented so even if we have a local variable then also with the help of the static keyword we are incrementing the value of or persisting this value of the uh, local variable so uh, the use of the static storage class for the so we have a static storage class for the two ways one is for the local so one static variable is for the local and another static variable is for the global okay so local static variable basically used to persist the persist the value of variable so local static variable is used to persist the value of variable whatever variable we have in the local scope the the value of that variable will remain persist till the end of the program when we use this static keyword before the local variable okay this was for this local static so let's see the whatever the property that we have applied for ato so we will apply this same properties and what we will see what values will get to this local static okay
so let's make two parts of this page okay so we have a property its value okay so our property is first property is memory location so we have seen that it gets a memory to the data section so data section is available onto the stack but it is persist till the end of the program not till the end of execution of function it will remain till the end of the program so this is the memory location next is the default value so default value it will get it is zero because the, on the data section all the variables will get initialized to zero so if we didn't provide any value the default value will get is zero next next is the scope so where till where it will get accessible so it will accessible only that into that particular block so the scope is local next is the lifespan so for the lifespan this variable will remain in the memory till the end of the program that means it will remain globally so lifespan is global okay and last is our linkage so it's it is not accessible outside of that particular block so that's why it, it doesn't have any linkage so we, we, have, we have no linkage value for it so these five properties are for the local static variable so we have a local static storage class and for this local storage static class we have these properties <coughs> okay so let's move towards the next and uh, let's write some another program to understand the global static so we have a program like we have one function function so here we have a two files in the one program so this is our main.c file okay and this is the I mean, this is next is the sum dot c file okay so in the main.c file we have uh, only the main function okay and in the sum.c file we have one another function m as a sum function and in this sum function we are adding two variables and storing its result into the third variable and returning this third variable we will see this return and everything what is return type what is the return statement in the function chapter so till then only see what is only remember this syntax don't do anything i will tell you in the function chapter itself so here we have a two files main.c and sum.c and we have a, here you can see that we have a, a and b variables but we are not defined or declare these variables in this uh, sum.c so we can access these variables from main.c file if we write here in the global int a equals to 10 comma b equals to 20 and we if you write something here with the help of that we can access the, these variables here into this sum.c from this main.c but let's see if we have to restrict that uh, access we have to restrict to access these variables only inside this file this variable should be accessible only inside main.c not other than this file so for that we can write this static in front of this uh, variable declaration if you write this static then these variables will remain accessible only to this main.c file it, these variables will be restricted for this main.c file these variables will not get accessible outside of this main.c file so that that is the use of this static keyword for the global uh, static storage class and for accessing these two variables outside of this file we will see this in the next lecture it is basically into the external storage class so for right now understand that if we write any static keyword in in front of global global variable then these global variables will remain restricted for that particular file only these global variables we cannot access it outside of their particular file so this is for the variables so these global static variables will also comes in terms of other function as well let's see if we have this sum function and if you want to make a restrict this function inside only the sum.c file so what we will do we will write you can write this static word in front of this function so what happens here when we write the static in front of this sum function this function will remain restricted into that sum.c file only this function will not get accessible out, outside of this sum.c file we cannot access this in some function in the main function so you will then ask me how we can access if you didn't write this static so that part also we will see in the external storage class 
but for right now just understand that if you write static keyword in front of any function name or any global variables then this variable or this function will not accessible outside of that particular file this only accessible inside of that particular file only this for the global static variables what we have learned for local static variable this local static variables will persist the data to persist the data of any local static vari local variables we use the static keyword and to restrict the access of uh, any global variables for that particular file only we will use the static keyword so these are the two uses of the static keyword so let's see the properties that uh, five properties with the static global variable so we have a property this value okay so our first property is memory location so its memory location is also a data section because it is accessible into the complete file so it is a local uh, sorry it is a global variable so global variable will get its memory onto the data section of the stack data section of stack and for local variables they have restricted scope but for global variable they didn't have restricted scope in the data section so in the data section if our any static global variable is there this variable is accessible inside the same file anywhere we can access from any function to this global static variables from only inside the same file not from the out other files of the same program so this is for the memory okay second is default value so as it is into the data section so its default value is zero and third one is scope so its scope is uh, global it is accessible anywhere in the same file so it's with uh, scope is global and next part is lifespan also it is remains available until the end of the program so its lifespan is also global and talking about its linkage so this variable is accessible inside the complete same file not on the other files these variables are remain accessible in on inside the same file we can access these variables from any function available in the same file so that's why its linkage is internal we can access internally in the same file so that's why its linkage is internal so these are the some of the properties of global static variables that uh, comes for the global static variables and we also have seen the properties for the local static variable so let's uh, summarize uh, these two global static and local st static with the some differences let's make a two different columns so here we have a local so here we have a local static storage class and here we have a global static keyword for the static storage class okay So for local static what is there what is the use of local static so local static variable is used to make the any variable static uh, sorry variable persist so if we have to we have to make any variable persist persist means to remain the value unchanged after the end of the execution of first uh, stack of that particular function and after coming to the next stack of that particular function the value should remain as it is which is present for the previous function stack so this is called as a persist persist uh, remains persist if we have a make any variable if we have to make any variables persist persist in the local scope so these variables are we may we, we need to write static keyword we need to write static keyword in front of these local variables so this is the use of local static a static keyword for the local variables and for the global variables to make a re to make a restriction on that variables to restrict particular global variable for that particular file for that particular file only so if we have to restrict any global variable for only to the at a particular file this global variables if you want to should be, if you want that there any particular global variable should be accessible only in the same files not in the other files of the same program so at the time we can use the static uh, keyword in front of that particular variable then what happens it, this variables will becomes restricted for that particular files only we can access this variable only inside that particular variable there are also options if we didn't write static keyword in front of that global variables we can access these variables outside of that file 
into the another file of the same program with the help of some other keyword this keyword also comes into the storage classes we will see in the next lecture about that keyword extend keyword is that so we will see about this extend keyword in the next lecture but for to make this uh, variable restricted for that particular file only to make this variable accessible only inside that particular file we will use that static keyword in, in front of that global variables so that this variable will become restricted for that particular file and it is same, same it is applicable for the functions also to make any function restricted to be accessible only inside that same file not into the other file of the same program so we will write uh, static keyword in front of uh, that function uh, function definition and this function will become static and after that this function will, should, will not be accessible outside of that particular file so these are the two different uses of this uh, static keyword for this uh, storage classes for the local and global scope this static keyword is used so this all about the static keywords if you like this video then give like to that video write comment in in the comment section of that video and uh, share this video with your friends so that your friends will also get the knowledge about this C language if they want to enter into the IT field and they want to increase their knowledge so they will also get this help and this this is enough for this lecture and we will see you in the next lecture till then keep coding keep learning bye bye